Timken made in USA wheel bearing. So I just spent the last 30 minutes <laughs> cutting a peep off, piece off this Toyota bumper I salvaged from a junkyard at least 10 years ago. I drove in there with a POS plow truck. That's got to be 2005, 10 years ago. And I cut a piece of pipe. I made sure to cut it square. And then I set up my 12 ton shop press. Somebody was telling me they used a hundred ton shop press. A hundred ton? This is just a little baby made in Japan. It's probably a 30 or 40 year old shop press. It's a small one. I use it once a year. So I set up my spacers. I went to the machine shop yesterday and the guy says to me, if you take the studs out, he says, you can just press the bearing by supporting the rotor because the rotor is behind the hub. So I put it all together, put my spacers in. I don't have the same thickness of steel, so I had to shim it. And I crank on the shop press and I just gave it some love cranks and bearing just slides out, just like that. Huh, well, it did come part way up. It's open, that was closed, so now it's getting hard, so. Whoop! Whoop! That's it. Couldn't have been easier. Probably could have hammered it out. So everybody kept on saying, just hammer on the bolts. I'm not hammering on the stinking bolts. One guy brought his bearing assembly into the machine shop after he had destroyed it. And the bolts were Torx bolts, and he'd beat the crap out of them. Everybody kept asking. me, said, no, they're not Torx bolts. They're just hex head 15 millimeter with a little... Or an expanded area just below the washer head Sometimes. so I've got to fill the cooling system and flush it with water till it runs clear I've got the thermostat put back in maybe I shouldn't have put it back in right now they're freaking pain in the butt so now it's starting to rain just like they predicted so I put back my pipe now that I've cut a few inches off of it I guess I can throw with that filter and the steak board. I hate throwing crap away. Pack rat. So that's it. The bearing is out of here. Clink! Core bear parts. Rods, tubes, square pieces. I got all kinds of goodies. Quink! Ooh. Couldn't have been easier than that. There's my bearing and my knuckle. I think it's easy to pick these things up with one hand. You gotta undo the nut for the anti lock brake sensor. There's the bearing. Yummy. Rusted. I didn't get the fluid film in here and it rusted. I have to clean it up first. Alright. I undid the brake. Anti lock brake wire. Set the camera down here. And there's the knuckle. One knuckle. A little bit of rust. I probably could have removed it by hammering on the bolts. I don't know. Let's remember how this goes together. Break. Yep. Oh, rusted. I even sprayed white grease in here. Look at that. I'm going to have to polish that up. I don't want rusty backing plates. Pretty thin. Piece of tin with a rolled edge. There is the bearing. Even though the doctors had said that there was evidence of sexual assault, 
Maria Alejandra says the police questioned her as if she was making it all up. Why didn't she do What took her so long to report the intrusion? I would have to almost be dying for them to investigate, Maria Alejandra says they told her. There it is. Blood of junk. Now the opportunity Bearing. for revenge was gone. I said to her, I told you, we should have done something before. Because now, if we took uh. How do you squeeze? You can barely get in there. Because that's how I tried jacking up the back and roll it over, but I need a few people to rock it. One junk bearing, make sure it's the same one. Plunk. Rain, rain, go away. We had a nice stretch of nice weather, so. Yep, same thing. Last order a few more. They were cheap, under one hundred and fifty dollars. One twenty-five, I think. They even give you new studs. Same thing. Same thing. Alright, we'll put it back together after I polish it up a little bit. I'm just slopping on the anti-seas everywhere. I had to remember which order these things went to. Ran out of memory. I'm notoriously bad. I got 33 minutes to go. I must have hit the button. I'm notoriously bad at remembering how things go together. So I cleaned off the backing plate and I sanded off the rust. Somehow the galvanized, the fluid film doesn't penetrate the galvanized and it was rusty. And I'm sure I put anti seas on this. Yeah, there's rust there. So here comes the rain. So I've got to flip that over. Maybe I'll drop the knuckle onto this. And the wire goes there. I always forget how these things go together. So I'm going to plop it all together. Tons of anti-seas. As the story goes, if the anti-seas ain't coming up, they're cracking you, you know where. You ain't got enough. Lots of good anti-seas. Junk.